From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Tiffany Savona. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. It is a quiet start to your Wednesday. And here's another reminder that if you're interested in the weather or you're interested in becoming a storm spotter for the National Weather Service, well, they are putting on a spotter training class, which they call Skywarn. And this is only offered one or two times a year. It's going to be tomorrow at 630. It's going to be held at the Benton County Emergency Services Building in Richland. It's a free class. It's a great class. Very interesting. If you or maybe your child has an interest in weather, it's about two hours long. You need to sign up and register for the class if you want to go. It's weather.gov. That's their website slash PDT. So check that out if you are interested in learning more about weather and severe weather. Not much going on weather-wise here right now. Legends Casino Hotel Skycam showing plenty of sunshine all across the Columbia Basin this morning. Winds have finally come down since yesterday. It was a windy day yesterday, and that was bad news for the firefighters that were trying to put out and stop those wildfires from spreading. Winds now out of the south and west, 5 to 10 miles per hour between 10 and 15, a little bit farther west of Yakima. So we're talking about the Kittitas Valley where those winds are a little bit stronger. And temperatures are a bit cooler this morning. We're running anywhere from 6 to about... 13 degrees cooler than where we were at this time yesterday morning. So you may need that light jacket or that sweater before heading out. It's 47 in the Tri-Cities, 53 in Walla Walla, 50 now in Pendleton, 50 degrees in Connell, and 52 in Yakima. Here's the weather pattern. Today we're going to be a little bit cooler behind that front that moved in yesterday. So high temperatures today only in the lower 80s, which is right around average. Tomorrow will heat back up as high pressure builds in, but that warm up will be short lived as our next storm system will be waiting in the wings. This one is going to start to move in Friday. Friday. It's going to bring more clouds with it, wind, and a big cool down as we head into your Father's Day weekend. Today, a little bit of a cool down, but pretty seasonable, pretty typical for this time of year. 82 in the Tri City, 78 Connell, 78 degrees for your high in Walla Walla today, 81 in Hermiston, 80 degrees in Yakima, low humidity, light winds. A great day if you want to let the kids play outside or take the kids to the park. Tonight, clear and chilly. Tomorrow morning, it'll be even cooler than what it is right now. We'll be down into the mid and upper 40s. 48 in Tri-Cities, 46 Walla Walla, 46 degrees in Toppenish, 47 in Prosser. Tomorrow afternoon, warming up again. Highs returning to the mid and upper 80s. But then we can say goodbye to those 80s for a while. And look at the 70s. They're making a comeback. Look how much cooler it's going to be this weekend. 74 and breezy Saturday, Father's Day, 74 degrees with temperatures in the 40s in the morning. So if you made that at tea time in the early morning hours, could be a bit on the chilly side. 80 degrees in Yakima today, 84 tomorrow. And then we have 60s, upper 60s Saturday and Sunday. So great news if dad isn't a fan of the heat. He's going to get his wish <laughs> this weekend. 78 degrees in Walla Walla today, 86 tomorrow. Breezy, 77 Friday with more clouds. And then highs only around 70 Saturday and Sunday. 81 today in Hermiston, 87 tomorrow with plenty of sunshine. Breezy, a few more clouds. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Much cooler this weekend, though. It'll feel more like late April, early May with highs only in the lower 70s.